Kartong Death by Cardboard is a really unique game. It's part maze game, part stealth, part FPS. In the game, you exist in a tiny scale as though you were six inches tall. You explore procedurally generated mazes in search of a special cog. After finding it, you can open the gate at the end to complete the level and move on to the next one. The atmosphere is an interesting juxtaposition between cute and creepy. The traps and items cleverly come from the fact that you're miniature. Mouse traps are massive, and you can arm yourself with matches and pins, things like that. The creepy element comes from the monsters that are after you, and how you need to try to be silent and stealthy to not get noticed. When teleporting, you can move very quickly if you don't mind running and making noise. But if you wait just a little bit, then you teleport while sneaking, which will allow you to remain silent and prevent setting off certain traps. There's also sliding locomotion with those two options as well. If you are spotted, you can use your weapons and the traps to keep the enemies at bay. But you can't dilly-dally because the enemies will respawn, but the weapons and traps do not respawn. So there's a real incentive to get to the end of the maze as fast as you can. I found this really fun. The spooky elements can be startling, but not terrifying. Oh, good god! Holy crap! I can't handle horror games in VR, but I was able to handle this. And ever since playing the Budget Cuts demo, I've been longing for stealth-based VR games. It was refreshing to think stealthily in VR again. This is a truly unique experience. I recommend you consider playing this. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya!